So this ought to be interesting. I'm at a dollar store. Let's see if anybody actually watches this one. <clears throat> Nobody yet. We're notifying all the peers and nods and nodes and YouTubes. The YouTubes are being notified. Live chat. I'm at a dollar store. I don't think anyone's gonna say anything. But sometimes, oh, look at that, more, oh, there's some people. Ah, oh, ah, oh, alkaline water. Hey, seven people. Oh, hi, Gabby. Hi, Christopher Sanders. We're at a dollar store. My wife is shopping. I'm buying Tupperware. She buy, we're buying Tupperware, because only fools buy Tupperware from expensive places, because they bruddy Tupperware. Yo, what's up, Rob A. Montana? I'm at a dollar store. I'm live streaming at a dollar store. Raiders won. Yeah, they played in Canada, didn't they? They won. I have a Raiders hat now because Alfonso from my channel gave me a Raiders hat. And then Kevin from my channel gave me a really cool NHL hat. Here's a dollar store. So the dollar stores in Vegas are set up in such a way. Uh, I'm in the 99 cent uh, only store. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on the 99 cent only store. Now, there are certain things. Oh, here's the rules of my chat. Here's the rules. Come on, let's go. Rules of chat. I will answer everybody. Don't be anti-Semitic. Don't be racist. Don't be sexist. Be nice. I'm not going to answer any questions about immigration status. I'm from Canada. Hey, Alfonso, I just mentioned the Raiders hat you gave me, but I was at a business meeting, so I had to have decent hair. Uh, Super Chat's on, but you don't have to pay me. I'll answer all your questions. Any donations you make goes to fund my godson in the Philippines and help me buy things at dollar stores. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, so here's the deal. This is the 99 cent only store, but not everything is 99 cents, you see, because uh, this place here nearly went out of business a few years ago and they uh, went into bankruptcy and now they're out of bankruptcy. Yeah. Save a buck or two, I'll show you some stuff. So 99 cent only store, 99 cent only store. 99 cent only store. But anyways, there's still good values here. Um, 5.99 value, $4 value. <laughs> it's an amazing value. But anyways, there's a few things you should never buy at dollar stores. Most of those are small consumables that Walmarts and Targets and grocery stores, hey Cleo, uh, buy in bulk. So if we take a look, the dollar store set up. We have foods over here, moving into it, we got stuff for the family. Moving to the side, we have electronics and things like that. I told my wife, this is the one time I want you to take your time at the dollar store, otherwise I could care less. Let's get out of here as soon as we possibly can. Uh, one thing, by the way, I wouldn't be surprised if they tell me to stop streaming here. So let's see if they allow me to stream. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Hi, Michael. JT says, Steve, what kind of wine do they have? Let's go take a look. The wine is in the back. They recently started selling alcohol at the dollar store. Yes, buy TP and detergent at Costco. Yes, Christopher is correct. How far from what? Oh, he took his message away. Nam took his message away. So, we have a bunch of fruits here. Oftentimes, these are the same fruits you're buying from other places, but oftentimes they're not. Like, if you want to buy plantains, you're going to get a good deal. Grapes are sweet. Are you buying them? The grapes are sweet. So, here's what kind of wine we're looking at. Wine is $6. How far from the strip? This is about three miles from the strip. There's a closer one. No, it's not really closer. There's one on Maryland Parkway as well, but we're on the west side of town. So you see Sutter Home. You can get Sutter Home for $4.99 here, which is not bad. It's usually a couple of dollars more at a regular store. Southern Vineyards. Ooh, Flip Top Wines. That's prestigious in nowhere ever. Not prestigious, said everybody ever. You know, you got some of these that win gold medals and stuff like that. The thing about wine is it only gets better with age, so throw it in your house and have some wine to cook with or get drunk with when you your team gets eliminated from the playoffs on a bad call. Salads. Somehow the words dollar store in Las Vegas seem incongruous. Ooh. 
So you win big word of the day, Mr. Duck. Good work. Great for snacks and party supplies. Are you already done? We have Tupperware. Oh, more Tupperware searching. So then we have the frozen section. Now, here's another thing, like, eggs are a bad deal at the dollar store, because you can often get them cheaper at a regular store, because eggs go on sale all the time. Okay, so there's one thing. But then stuff like this, maybe lactose-free milk, stuff like that, the specialty, that's fine. You're not finding the best brands anyways. Dessert topping or desert topping, depending on how bad your spelling is. And then these are not cheese. What a deal. This is not cheese. Look at the ingredients on this package. And it's made out of queso, quesadilla cheese, pasteurized milk cheese, cultured potato starch, and powdered cellulose added to prevent caking. So stuff like that, you gotta be careful on. They allow good Hispanic foods that you're not gonna get anywhere outside of Hispanic food places. And that's good too. But that's probably just the market. And then, you know, frozen foods and meals you should ever need. Take me to the real cheese, please. I don't know, Ditch, I remember a buck or two stores. They're not like this, that's for sure. Back here you have breads, but there is a good thing about going to the dollar store. The good thing about going to the dollar store is these are the same breads you buy at any store, but they overstock and they give them here. So if you're willing to have bread, it's not day old, it just expires a little bit sooner. You get some really good deals, like the cinnamon bread. Mmm, I mean, usually it's like $4 a loaf if you go to other places. So then on the other side, we have stuff like frames, party supplies, florals. You can buy a piñata at the dollar store. Chica chica piñata. And then there's certain things you should never buy at the dollar store, namely chargers for phones. That'll mess you up, man. Your phone will be destroyed in no time. And then they sell these things. Now, here's the trick. These are really good. These are really good cleaners. The best cleaner in the world I ever bought is here. It's, it's LA's totally awesome all-purpose cleaner. And it is like something from the planet Glipnorp. I just made that up. And then in terms of chargers for electronics, this is what I'm saying. If you buy a cheap phone charger and you buy this cheap stuff, your phone will probably die on you. Hello, Ivy. And then we have a lot of cheap tools and stuff like this. Not really a bad deal at all. Pet food, we're always cagey on buying pet food. If you buy pet food from the dollar store, it's always a good idea to look at where it's made because you never know what you're going to get. This is distributed by a company out of Florida. It's product produced in the USA, which is good because you don't want to buy Chinese pet food because they've had some scandals where pet food has been bad from China, tainted, and you don't want to hurt your little friends. Obviously. But it's such a bad deal because that bag of pet food's a dollar, but you can go to the regular store and buy a giant bag of food for two dollars, and it's probably a better brand. Although the stuff like this is a good deal because these only cost what? Well, wait, no, that's fourteen ninety nine. That's a bad deal. Last time we bought one of those, it was a lot cheaper. Trust me on that. And then they have birthday cards. So the way I see it. You can also burn your house down with those chargers. Yeah, they get very hot. And they don't have the proper fuses in them. And I destroyed a phone with a cheap cable from a dollar store. Just plugged it in and never turned it back on. If you wanted to buy 100 birthday cards for a centenarian, you could buy them at the dollar store for a dollar each. You'd spend $100 on 100 birthday cards. They're not exactly the best cards in the world. <laughs> As though they needed to put the prices on these. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a dollar. I get it. We're not stupid, jeez. Yeah, here's the charging cables. So you buy this cable, right? We all know the Apple brand, Bitronics. What's up? We wanna go? We're going already. All right, just tuned in. Is there a $1 video poker? No video pokers in the front. Do you have $20 worth of stuff, honey? Here, can I give you this and you can pay? Here. Boom, I'm broke now. Welcome to marriage. Happy wife, happy life. I'm gonna let her pay. So, the best deals are usually at the front. There's no dollar video poker. 
That's at the grocery stores, are you silly? But they do that nasty thing. See, this is also a good deal. These are Mexican um, sodas. This was my favorite ever when I moved to Mexico. It's apple soda. It's, pretty, it's made by Pepsi. This whole shelf is Pepsi stuff. And of course, we all know Mexican Coca-Cola, but Mexican Pepsi. Water, sugar, caramel color, caffeine. I mean, it's not bad. It's obviously made for an American market because it's got the American label on it. Dollar General? I've never been in a Dollar General before. Sometimes we go to the Dollar Tree and I tried to buy a tree for a dollar and they wouldn't let me. And I was like, you bastards. There's no Dollar Trees here. But uh, they didn't think that was very funny. And that was the day I got kicked out of the Dollar Tree forever. I'm going to hang out here in case my wife has more than $20 worth of stuff. And we'll just take a look. So I think these glow in the dark. Amazing value. You could decorate your whole house for Halloween for probably 100 bucks flat. Like, imagine you just keep this gnome in your house all year round. Your neighbors would probably call the police on you. That has some weight to it, too. This is the Ola Halloween Skeleton Gnome. It's got its own name. Momentum Brands is huge. They sell stuff at Walmart, too. So, I think we're getting a lot of odds and ends and things that... Oh, man, this looks like that new Samsung Galaxy phone I can't afford. Oh, look, it's me! Hi, everybody. Oh, I can't wave. Waving. <clears throat> they sell meat at the dollar. I've never seen meat at a dollar store, but I'm sure some people have. This is the Darth Vader head. I think this is made to put a light bulb in it. Oh, it does have a light bulb in it. Let's turn it on. Luke. I'm vastly underpowered, Luke. That's not bad. Man, the bling level is 10 out of 10. Do they have 99 cent only's in Salt Lake City, Lucas? If they don't, they should get some. Stat. And then you can pay more than 99 cents for everything, just like in Las Vegas. And if you notice, this can of Pringles is really short. That's what I'm talking about. So you buy a can of Pringles here for a dollar, but you can buy way more product for a dollar 25 at the store across the street. And that's how they get you. They, they you know what you at the drive through as a... Uh, Joe Pesci said in Lethal Weapon. Hey guys, give me a like if you're watching. 37 people. I wouldn't try any meat. Um, honey? Can you get this too? I'm supposed to buy a Pringles can. I'm buying Pringles because you told me to. So there you go. That's the day I lost money on a live stream because I don't, I'll probably not eat those Pringles. And here's the funny thing about Pringles. Pringles are not considered potato chips. They're potato crisps. And that's why. Cleo gave me five bucks. Thanks, Cleo. Oh, this is a great racket. I could just go into grocery stores and, and live stream and give you, give, get you all to give me money. That was my evil intention the whole time. Wah ha 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 ha. We're going to drive home and I'm going to live stream the drive home. Okay. Never seen that, man. Live uh, frozen meats. I thought that super security guard was coming right for me. Oh, we're giving to the homeless outside, apparently. That's cool. Cleo did that. Are we done? We're going out to the car. I'm going to flip. Oh, thank you, Cleo. Take us with you. Why are we shopping at the dollar store? I have one here, Vegas. Because it's unique. I think we parked somewhere over here. Because it's unique, and I've never seen a live stream of a dollar store before. Plus, you guys get to go home with me, and uh, my wife's gonna drive, and I'm gonna yammer on the camera about things that aren't really significant to anybody's life, but are giving food and money. Yeah, and it's... And the guy's gone now. We told him we would be coming in with some stuff, and he left. Where the hell did I park there? Oh, right there. Who's that guy I don't know. You know what? I. It's nice right now. It's about probably 90 degrees right now. I The other day I got scammed by a guy. Scammed, whatever. He asked me for money and I said I don't have any cash. I carry just cards because I work on the strip. And that's always not smart to carry cash. Uh, yeah, I'll show the shopping center. And uh, then he asked me for food. And so I gave him, uh, I gave him, this is the shopping center. So I gave him 
a bag of chips and a bottle of water. And when I came out, he was talking on an i he was texting on an iPhone XS Max. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah, my wife's like, why are you buying Pringles? Because she knows I'm not going to eat them. Like, like, seriously, I'm trying to get rid of all the bad food in my house. Somebody told me to buy Pringles. I had to do it, just like how I had to participate in Zoltar's little scam Ponzi scheme there. I wonder how much it costs to invest in a Zoltar machine. So we're on, uh, this is on Decatur and um, Charleston. This area used to have everything be open 24 hours. There's a Skechers outlet here. If you ever come to Vegas, don't go to the Skechers at the mall, the outlet mall. That's a con job. Oh, I gotta put this away. They do this BS thing where you gotta, that's how, that, this is how you know you're in a good neighborhood. Here you go, keys, keys, keys. You know you're in a good neighborhood when the shopping carts cost 25 cents. Yeah, so the homeless guy had an iPhone 10s max and i'm like okay well i gave him the water and i gave him the chips and i said via con dios and he didn't know what that meant because he wasn't a, he didn't speak spanish but i didn't really say that and i'm lying to you i wanted to sound smarter than i really am you're moving to the dollar <laughs> don't do it lucas it's not worth it man it's not a it's not a great neighborhood i'm gonna be honest with you i hate these things and by the way Here's a tip for you, right? If this is here and you don't have this, I don't know my keys, use a postal key or a small key. You can jam a key in there and it doesn't damage it. Ah! You can put a key in there and it doesn't damage it and um, you can manage to uh, not pay a 25 cent quarter piece. So, yeah, there's a Bank of America right there. Um, this area saw a lot of fallout from the economic thing that we had. I just don't see how it related at all to the channel. You know how he was... How do you know he was homeless? Um, he was carrying, it looked like, everything he owned in one bag. So I thought he might be, and he asked me for money. He might not have been homeless. I might have just been a sucker that day. Uh-oh. I think my thing switched to Bluetooth. I better turn that off. All right. <clears throat> Bluetooth is off. <laughs> Oh, okay. One of my subscribers, Kevin, hit a lot, hit a big, huge payday while he was here. He had like a hand payout, and I'm like, damn, man. And he had a bunch of other little ones. I'm happy when people come to Vegas and gamble and make money. What other shops are here? Could, when we drive drive around this little area for a few minutes. So my my, I'm usually the chauffeur. My wife is gonna chauffeur us around the area. Might as well drive around there too. Can we drive through the Walmart parking lot just yeah. for the hell of it? Oh yeah, this is. Here you go. It's a dollar for a cart in Canada. What See, no. that's the scam. <laughs> We're gonna go across the street to the Walmart parking lot. That's the scam right and there. It's always lively this way this time around. Yeah, there's always this many people. There's people are 24-7. Oh, see, you guys don't even know how lucky you are. My wife is even talking because she's a very private person. But we just got out of a meeting for her paper uh, flower wall. We did a consultation with a real nice lady who's having us install some really cool fixed artwork in her house. Gabby says hi. Hello. Hello, Gabby. In New York City, you have to hide your takeout food in some places. People will literally target you to give them your takeout food. Yeah, Ivy, I, I hear you. Yeah, I am the one guy. So across the street, yes, my wife is Filipino. And you spelled it. Uh, this is a Lowe's. She's a Filipino citizen. She's a Filipino citizen who's also an American citizen. And she's a Filipina female. She's a Filipina female. And I said I wouldn't talk about it. So okay. I was like, I'm dating. No, the other day. The, what? I'm dating a Filipino. I'm not dating a <laughs> Filipino, guys. No, the other day I had this guy come on my channel. And he was like adamant that he was trying to troll me. He's like, What's your immigration status? And I'm like, listen, and I stopped the live stream. I'm like, I don't have to tell you anything about that, but all you need to know is that I'm here legally, and uh, I, I'm not gonna get into it. Uh, no, signal's not out, we're back. I lost half my live stream because of you, you know, the app dying. Another Vegas channel was riding scooters in North Las Vegas, well, and there were so many Walmart. carts tossed people in the river. Like, people like, yeah, there's a lot of people out here. Thanks for everybody who stuck around, guys. My signal's not it's, out, but my, my uh, 24 seven. Right. Yeah, 24 seven. Although this Walmart stopped being a 24 seven town or town. This Walmart's a city. Yeah. Um, so. They have Super Walmart. 
this is a super Walmart. Is it? Okay. Well, they don't. Technically, all Walmarts super. are super Walmarts. If you drive around that way, we can go to Smart and Final. Smart Final. Yeah. Do you want to take these people down the strip? Sure. If you guys lost the stream, uh, just exit and come back in, everybody. But anyways, yeah, so we'll, we'll drive down West Charleston, go on the strip, and loop back to our house to keep you guys some entertainment. And thanks for watching my live stream. Uh, we're going to go down West Charleston towards the strip, and then we'll drive down the strip to Flamingo, and then we'll go back up. Wally World, I didn't know people paid for shopping carts. Yeah, it's only in low-income areas. I've never been to a Great Land store. We have them in Vegas, but you know, I'm, I heard they're very nice. Uh, our targets have some food in them, but nothing like a Walmart store. This windshield is filthy. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so here we are. Now, this is West Charleston. Charleston Mormon Temple on the other end and a brothel on the other. Scooby. <laughs> Sco oh, you changed your name, Subi. Now you're Subi Roo. Ah, Subi Ruby Roo. If you still lost, the stream but can read this excellent come back thank you joe you're awesome uh yeah so we're going down skinny dugans the yeah these are little oh, tiny yeah. little tiny casinos that opened up to service just locals okay and we're driving late eat at jollybees one day and stream it that's a great idea i love me some jollybees jollybees pretty good um however it's not the same as in the Philippines. They don't have the same burgers. It's just not the same. Why is everybody live streaming now, Ivy? Because it's in vogue and it's um, a, a lot, okay. I think a lot of live streamers make a lot of money on their live streams. I, I think that's one reason and YouTube promotes it that way. I'm trying to figure out what area it is in Charleston. Charleston and Decatur, I'm coming up to Charleston and Rancho stuff. This is the medical. Yeah, this is, thank you, honey. This is the medical district. Yeah. Um, and surgery. surgery, this is where UMC is. When um, Siegfried and Roy had their problem, they flew them. This is the only trauma center. Uh, Planned, Parenthood. Planned Parenthood's over here. A lot of stuff to support your health. This is the only trauma center in the region. So if anybody got really hurt, hurt on a construction site in Reno, they either fly them to uh, Seattle yeah. or they fly them to Las Vegas by a helicopter. Is there a cool tiki bar close by? There's a tiki bar on um, Spring Mountain Road. It's really trendy. There's medical, there's medical. Yep. There's all the medical stuff. UMC is up here. Shocks are worn. No, I have an older this vehicle. This is where they brought a lot possibly. of those uh, people from when they get shot. Yep. When the yeah, when the October. I don't. I know. You gotta watch. Well, my wife doesn't know this, but if I say the wrong words, I lose my ability to make any money off this video, which affects my family in the Philippines. So when the tragic event happened October 1st, you can't say the S word. Did you know that? It listens to you. It's so stupid. When the tragic event, I didn't know Jacob was streaming. That's cool. Yeah, he has interesting streams. I can't do a marathon walks in the heat like him. He's a he's a trooper. Um, when the when the tragic event on October 1st happened, they all came to UMC and other hospitals. Oh, your wife's from Zamboanga. Oh, that's Chabacano. She's Chabacano. She speaks... Chabacana. Chabacana. She, she speaks, speaks a Creole version of Spanish, probably, maybe, possibly. Yes, yes. And when I go to the Philippines and my wife tells people I speak Spanish, but I don't really speak it that well, they all start speaking it to me and I go, okay. And they think I mean, uh, what? And I mean, okay you're speaking it I don't know what you're saying so here's UMC this is the big so-called free hospital so if you ever had a problem and you have no insurance this is where you have to go no the S word involves firearms I can say firearms the S word involves the big firearm incident that happened on October 1st this is forever under construction oh there's a tiki bar right here shoot okay guys here's your answer to your tiki bar where is it? shadow lane it's right over here that's Frank's Tiki oh, Room. Oh yeah, Frank's Tiki Room. Oh, we're gonna go through a yellow light because we like to do that. <laughs> so this is Frank's Tiki Room here. It's across the street from the Yoda LV Medical Center. Check. We'll go in there one day. So, oh, okay, so Ivy, so YouTube tells people like me that if we stream, we can, oh, look at this. Look at this. Is that done? What the hell, that's brand new. There's never been an on-ramp here. That's for the spaghetti bowl though. Yeah, but you used to get onto it over there, and now you get onto it up here? 
Oh, look at this. This never existed two years ago. They spent a billion dollars on this oh, road. Oh, show them that. That's oh, the this coolest is cool. thing ever. Yeah, these artworks are cool here, too. Yes. Roll the window down so they'll see it. Yeah, they can't hear yeah. if I go. This changes colors. I really like them. <laughs> this is under, uh, under ramp. Yeah, this is the underpass. underpass. And there's so Dang much it. garbage. So everybody who told me how nice Vegas is, there's your garbage right there because it gets windy today and it all comes here. Um, so going back to your question, are you past the tap house? I've never been. I always to live near the tap house. I've never been in there. Uh, we used to live right across the street from it back in a past episode of my mm -hmm. my not oh, my not leaving Las Vegas life. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> um, so major improvements. Oh yeah, for sure. And then that Vegas has all, all this art that that's they're doing. A, that's a, uh, it's a Las artist loft. Yeah. So this used to be oh, so over here. If I I don't want to zoom in, it'll be terrible. But I'll do it. I'll talk it to you. I talk and I go up at the end of the sentence. I'm talking like a Canadian. You know, they're not really condescending to you. They're just talking. Uh, that's how they talk. But anyways, um, so this area has like, become an artist district, but there used to be a bread factory right here. You can buy San Miguel beer at Seafood City or in pretty much most of the Asian markets on Spring Mountain Road, but I'm more of a red horse guy. I like that malt flavor. This is good. I'm learning more about Vegas. Thank you, Cleo. So to get back to why is everybody live streaming? So what happened with the live streaming? So YouTube sends us these emails and they tell us, you need to live stream. You can increase your revenue. And then when you go into the part of YouTube that gives you your stats. Yeah, that's absolutely a landmark. When you get to the part that you see your stats, YouTube's like, hey, guess what? You can, hey, guess what? You can get it super chats. It when it rains does flood here when it rains. You can get super chats from way more countries and make way more money. And the reason they're doing that, see, YouTube takes 30% of every super chat. So if you give us 10 bucks, we get seven, which is super generous of you. Hop Nuts Brewery, I'll have to check it out someday, Subi. Um, we're on Main Street. We're on Main Street right now. They filmed some of the hangover here. Um, do you wanna go to Maryland Parkway? No, we're going that way. You wanna go on the strip, okay. She's the driver, I'm the passenger. Uh, then what happens is YouTube makes 30% of all of those. Hey, thanks Paul for two loonies, I love it. Is the adult convention going to move since the Hard Rock is moving? Yeah. It'll have to move, it'll probably go to the Sands Convention Center, or they'll just rent out, no, they have to do it at Sands, I'm guessing. Yeah, the, the adult convention. I did an interview with a friend of mine it was a catering business and uh, I'm I need to make a new channel so I can put up my well maybe I'll just put on this channel yeah I want to put up on this channel did an interview with him and I asked him what's the craziest thing you ever saw as a professional caterer and he's so proper and gentle and nice and polite and he goes we used to do the pornography convention like you mean the adult expo <laughs> next it was kind of funny yeah speaking well, yeah, of porn yeah. here's some porn <laughs> Hostel. Here's the hostels right next to the porn. It's just bizarre. So Paul, thanks for the super chat, Paul. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas, Viva. famous oh, wedding oh, chapels. All the, motel. All the tattoo places, cockroach motels, rent these places for an hour. Oh, you this know. is an old one. This is another. This um, is an old hostel. No, no, no. This is its oh, own yeah. place though. Oh yeah, you're, you're, this is yeah. That's adult books. Is it? No, I <laughs> God, what kind of neighborhood are we in? <laughs> This is the oldest part and there's Naked City and I'm not driving here right now. I'm not driving into Naked City, but I'm gonna cover it one day, maybe on a live stream. Because also, here's another thing, Ivy, from New York City who's coming out here in a little bit. Not, yeah, I got your email, so we'll, we'll, we'll meet up with Christina from that other channel. Um, live streams are incredibly convenient. I haven't done a video for two days and I felt really guilty. My guilt was overwhelming. So I'm like, I'm gonna do a live stream. And now here we are because it's a way for me to do something for you and I'm only here to provide value to you and then also inflate my fragile ego. Silver and Gold Pawn Shop is nowhere near us. Oh, us. I'm so sorry. We'll it's, do that it's, one it's behind us. We will live stream Silver and Gold, although I'm pretty sure they're not ever going to allow a camera in there. Looney's from Moose Jaw to Calgary by way of Vegas. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I haven't seen a Looney in a while. 
it's what they call a dollar coin in Canada because <laughs> the original dollar coin. Oh, Dino's. Dino's, yeah. This is another little bar, neighborhood bar, named seen after seen Dean Martin, I'm sure. Um, the original dollar coin in Canada was supposed to have a, an explorer, like a pioneer on it, and then somebody lost the mint. The only Venezuelan. When are you guys going to Manila? Oh, here's an event. Yeah, these are neat little places. Arepas. The art of gelato and sweets. Oh, $10 dresses? I'm in. Venezuela. Yeah, that's Venezuelan. Um, I don't know what they have. Empanada. Yeah, the white white something drugstore. Oh, I'm, I'm all over the map. What's up with the Strat? The Strat's called the Strat, which makes no sense. Um, brief history on the stratosphere. If you could see it, there's a part where it was poured incorrectly during pouring. They wanted it to be bigger than the CN Tower. When they got approval for this, they tried for that. They said no to it. Um, stratosphere name made FAA. sense. Yeah, the FAA said no. Um, the FAA doesn't like tall buildings because we have military exercises and airplanes near the strip. Um, and now it's called the Strat because we need to reinvent ourselves. Here's the White Cross Market and Drug store. I think I should do a history on this and I want to do short films but I don't have enough time and I have to work my day job. That's got to be a merry one. That's a dispensary. There you go. You can buy some um, mood altering substances there. And then the stratosphere is desperate. I want to answer your question about Manila in a minute. I saw it. They want to be part of the strip so bad that what they the did on oh, sound so Canadian. So what they did was they made this sign. Yeah, they want to be part of the strip so bad, but they're not considered the strip because of Sahara. So they put this sign up, and then they said, hey, we're part of the strip too because we're on the other side of the sign. And there's some tourists <laughs> taking a picture with this sign, not knowing any better in the sense that it's really just a gimmick. That giant Tim Burton beast of a tent is a show that I've not heard anything good or bad about, and it doesn't look like it's much in demand. But maybe, maybe the show's around Christmas time. You know. They have the horse, right? Uh, they sometimes do that. I don't know if they're doing that this year. Okay, so here's a question if I go to Manila. When I go to Manila, I do two things. I go to the airport, then I connect to a flight. And my wife um, has been to Manila a million times. I want to take my godson Christian to go show him the history and the old forts and stuff. And I'm going to film that to the Philippines. And my ultimate dream, Lucas, is to grow this enough that people like me and her and him enough that maybe I can go there and live there I someday. There. Well, I took him there when he was 10 years old. Remember? Yeah, she took him to a big aquarium the in big Manila. Aquarium, First time he ever went on an airplane. It was pretty cool for him. The new sign. Your wife is sweet. Glad she's with you tonight. See, honey? Everybody wants to hear your voice. It's a lot prettier than mine. Sandra's coming in six weeks. Awesome, Sandra. So we're going down south on the strip. No, yeah, Sandra, are you uh, visiting or moving? Walking around there at night is not good. So this is the area we're not going to go into. It's behind here. It's called Naked City. And uh, construction on the stratosphere is in full swing. Naked City is called Naked City because originally the showgirls that were here, because Vegas wanted to be classy, right? So we're gonna classify the joint. Let's do topless shows like in France. So they had Follies and Jubilee. The showgirls wanted to get an even tan. These are the tallest buildings here in the time, and you can see them in the back right here. So they would sunbathe topless on the tops of the buildings, and it was called Naked Sun City. Tan. Sun tanning on the buildings called Naked City. Now it's just a place where you might get stabbed if you walk there at the last wrong part of the night. Really Subi, everybody leaves. I'll never really leave Las Vegas, but that's not anytime soon. We're talking years and years and years and years from now. And who knows, I might not even hit 5,000 subscribers. I could die tomorrow. YouTube is a funny thing. Uh, Vegas. Sandra, you're coming all the way from New Zealand? World's that is cool. Hey, I, oh yeah, world's largest gift shop. There you go. I gotta cover that someday, but that place is yeah, like, cops all over. yeah, look at the police. Yeah. That's okay, so I have a Google phone for a Google service that sucks. Um, yeah, Subi, we're talking long time from now. I might stop at 5,000. I might not ever get another subscriber. If you're watching this, you should subscribe because I do these kinds of gimmicky things all the time for some reason. Yeah, the Lucky Dragon closed last year, Alfonso, because who knew that if you build a building way off the strip, never advertise it, and cater to a very specific market that only comes here once a year, you're not going to have customers. 
<clears throat> but I don't know. I'm not a marketing expert, or am I? This is the Hilton Grand Vacation. It's one of those timeshares that nobody's supposed to do because we all make fun of timeshare. This is what a resort. Uh, resort world. Resorts World is coming up. We're going to go to Resorts World next. And this is a festival grounds that they built. Yeah, I think there's going to come out with They did Rock and Rio here one year, and then they never did anything ever it's again. It's cooling off now. It's just, you know, not crazy hot. Uh, yes, no, bonanza, bonanza, lock your doors, my doors are locked, are your doors locked, honey? Oh, kiwis, by the way, I really like kiwis, no, we've not passed the pepper mill, but we will, and I will tell you when we do, the pepper mill and the fireside lounge, I got a timeshare years ago, I still use it. There is a movie called The Trust, that tells you what last week is talking about. Yeah, there is a good movie that... Uh, Caroline had me watch called The Trust and stars our favorite psychopath Nicolas Cage and I'll watch anything he's in and, he's Frodo, a, and Frodo and Frodo from Lord of the Rings uh, Elijah Wood really good movie really good yeah we're driving a RAV4 Philly um, Circus Circus where the internet is so not good and the resorts world is coming up uh, The Trust is really good it's a movie about uh, police that work in Vegas, and it's pretty freaking good because I can identify all the areas, and they don't do stupid things like drive down a street, and then one minute they're on the other side of town. Pepper Mill's good, but I don't know if it's long for this world with the, uh, with the expansion of the convention center. The expansion of the convention center is also something I need to... Yeah, they just go forever, Philly. Um, Circus Circus is over here. The big, giant, scary clown from It. Yes, that's not Pennywise. We covered Circus Circus in a live stream. If you guys like this channel, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I have to say that. Yes, we go into a pepper mill. You got to, Sandra. And they're coming up. So the pepper mill is actually just on the side right here. You can see the blue neon. That's it right there underneath that right big billboard. Right by the Ross. It's the world's saddest Ross. Don't ever go into that Ross. There's better Ross stores way better one on the south end of the strip plus the prices are always 20 to 30 percent more at these rosses where are the tourists great question jt there are no tourists here because this is a stabby type of area <laughs> stabby part. i worked at this little timeshare booth right here by the denny's job. one of my first ever jobs the guy said show up here and i did and they said wow you actually showed up and it yeah is the adult convention going to move since the hard rock is closing good good question for the second time um, they want us to go to Hell's Kitchen. Ever run into the Trooper 97? I've never run into any other Vegas bloggers except for this one guy one time. And, uh, yeah, no, not yet. Well, that's not true. I'm a liar. I ran into Let Your Light Shine. You should watch her channel because she goes to good stuff and she talks about things in Henderson. Have you seen the Scorpion drink? That's a Nacho Daddy, and yes, I have seen it. The Scorpion shot. Robbie Montana TV sounds like Hannah Montana, but it's probably a lot more wholesome. There's the, the Resorts World. So Resorts World's going to be here. And apparently, the rumor has it, they lost their Asian theme for some reason. <laughs> Maybe because they saw what the Lucky Dragon did. <laughs> their Asian team. They're not doing Asia anymore. I don't think they're going to do Asia. Who the heck is going to lend them a panda bear? What a gimmick. Here's a panda. You, yeah. can't buy, you can't buy them. You, let you can't buy them. them. We went to the Encore on a live stream on this channel. If you haven't seen it, you should check that out. Will they ever close the Circus Circus? No, Christopher, as I covered before, it prints money. It's all paid for, so there's no reason for them to get rid of it. Because yeah. it's, it's, it's just the only place you can bring kids in Vegas, and it's such a trap. It's a trap. It's not great. Oops. Oh, no. Sorry. I got my notifications dinging off. That's so rude. In my quest to turn off notifications, I turned off the stream. And we're back. So this used to be where the news here. Well, well hold on, hold on. There's Trump Tower, uh, right there. Don't, don't thumbs down me because I showed you that. Cage you or anything stupid. This is where the frontier was. The the last frontier. Then it was the new frontier, and now it's no frontier. They're gonna build a plaza hotel like the one in New York City. Ooh. Let's follow him to stream something interesting. <laughs> This here is an accident. What did I hear about Tahiti? Uh, Omar, are you talking about Tahiti Village or Tahiti? Because there's two of them. I used to promote Tahiti Village. It's a beautiful resort with a lazy river, the only lazy river that I know of in Vegas. And it has a sandy beach. Like, literally, you can go put your feet in the sand. I miss the Sardust, too. 
Bam Bam Rubble says, Trump, Trump, Trump. Uh oh, you're gonna you're gonna trigger people. Watch out, Bam Bam. They're gonna dislike my channel and dox me. Uh, this is the Fashion Show Mall here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, we're stuck in traffic. That's all. Are we? We're stuck in traffic because we're driving down the strip because we're stupid the today. Fashion show mall. Yeah, so Tahiti Village is nice. It's just a little off the beaten path, so you're going to have to take a transportation or an Uber or a Lyft. But I think they also have a shuttle, but I don't know if it's free for non time show owners. But we used to promote for that place. My idea when we switched contracts was to have everybody do a tour. They have a neat little restaurant that serves very good fresh food and you should never gamble there because they only have two slot machines. So if they say a casino on site, that's a total load of garbage. All right, so what do we got? Oh, look at that, Diana Ross is performing at the win. Yeah, we'll go to Red Rock, Philly. I made the stupid mistake of telling people I'd cover every hotel in Vegas at some point in time, but it gives me a content farm, which is good, which means I can get content for, the, for the, what I do here. Just checked out your competition. Uh, hey, Ditch. Um, no problem. Thank you. Hey now, Steven. Hey now. That's like that uh, thing off of Larry Sanders, which no one knows about unless you watch the Larry Sanders show. So rest in peace, the Treasure Islands show. They decide to build a CVS. <laughs> Are Ubers and Lyfts trustworthy? Maybe. It really depends. Yes, Jay, we're cruising the strip. Um, can we go to the Tropicana just for the hell of it? Yeah. This is going well. Look at that. Look at what they did. Oh, look, 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 look. so we don't have a pirate show anymore, but we yeah. have this cool lighting show on the pirate show. Oh my god, they did a oh, really like good. That. that LED? Yeah, those are LEDs. Those are really cool. Are Ubers wow. and Lyfts trustworthy? Yes and no. I heard from somebody that is on my channel that's um, really cool. They, they consulted me for web work and they contracted me, which was nice. Uh, she she let it slip that she found voice out that... Voice to man. Voice to man. She found out uh, that uh, Ubers and Lyfts, you could actually sublet your car so it may not be the proper driver at certain times. Or you can... No, not sublet your car. Sorry. Hey, Lu Lucas Trudeau, Trudeau, Trudeau. Who's going to win the election in Canada, Lucas? I need a crystal ball. No, she told me that you can be an Uber driver and drive in any city, even if you don't know the city. So if you were from California vacationing here, you can turn on your Uber and drive in Vegas. How safe is that? So... Doo -doo -doo. Thank you, v B. Stevens. You're always good in these chats. The Age of Vegas Divas is slowly coming to an end. Maybe, Bam Bam, we might be switching to the Age of Headliners. Uh, Bam Bam was sad when Celine stopped. Yeah, but you know, here's the thing. I don't want to make it sad. But if I, my whole entire career was with one person and that person wasn't with me, I might get sad every time I sang. And I think that's what might have happened to her because she knew her, her husband since she was 13 years old. Yeah. Imagine losing the one thing you knew. And then you have that yeah. nasty association of singing and the love that you had. Thanks for the info. They're pushing free nights if you book two nights. Okay, there's probably a timeshare tour involved in that, Omar. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, bro. Careful. <laughs> It's a trap. It's not even a Venus fly track a trap. It's a pitcher plant where the, the the fly drinks. Oh, look at this. The only gosh. original, almost the only and original. You can't look get out of the trap. Do they still light this up now? They and do then? still light this up now. Really? They do it on oh. a schedule even. Oh, God. I think your wife was giving me a hint about going to a concert. We're going to Engelbert. I can't say his last name or else they demonetize me. <laughs> I can't. I can't say Engelbert Humper blank. And probably just demonetize me. We're going to that in November. Here's all the tourists you guys wanted to see. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Janet Jackson does perform here. She performs yeah. at... Look at one of the best. The oh. park, maybe? Yeah, I showed everybody the sign before when I streamed Caesar's Palace. I love this sign. It's my favorite sign. If you guys are watching, you haven't subscribed, or thumbs up, thumbs up. What's wrong with you people? It's free. All you have to do is click the X to Luis get rid of the Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Luis Miguel. Luis Miguel is here. He's oh, still boy. so expensive, though. Yeah, he's an expensive show. He comes here. Oh, to Omnia Nightclub. We have a friend that did all the furniture at Omnia Nightclub. I'll tell you, if I ever do the time shows in Vegas, I'll only go to you. That's cool, Omar. I appreciate it. You just watch my videos. Throw me, throw, throw me a like once in a while. It's so shiny. Oh, she's going up there. Luis Miguel's gone. Now it's Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, Vegas is a shiny city, and the Cosmopolitan started putting neon on their buildings, and now everything is like Show this. Show them where the tourists is. Yeah, all the tourists are over here. I, uh, 
uh, rolled down my window. And I guess since we're not really moving very quickly, I can just keep my window down. So these are the fountains at Caesars. I heard that if you book a comped room at the Wynn via the Wynn app, they waive the resort fee. They might. I don't know anything about comped rooms, so I don't gamble, but... Um, no, you don't like Louis Miguel, Louis Miguel, Gabby? That's okay. Not for everybody. My wife watched a show about, it was a movie about Luis Miguel, I think. Was that the movie you watched? It was about a young Luis Miguel and his struggles, his struggles with hard drug abuse. No, that's not true. I don't think he ever did hard drugs. I'm just joking. <laughs> Father abuse. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's even sadder than hard drug abuse. Oh, I shut my mouth then. Reba. Yeah, Reba's been here for a few years. Reba's been here for a few years. Hell's Kitchen is a neighborhood. I know, right, Ivy? I looked up Hell's Kitchen once and it was like, it's one of the boroughs. And I'm like, what? No, it's a TV show on Fox, you stupid Google machine. And then I realized I don't know what I'm talking about. So I was like, oh, it's a neighborhood in New York City. I got that tip from Save Hi to Matthew's channel. Yeah, that guy's got a good channel. You guys got to know that there's no competition on YouTube for anybody. Everybody's got a channel. Everybody should watch everybody else. I'm sure he has. Those guys have ways of consulting with you, and you know, I guess they do like some. Like, uh, if April the giraffe can have a channel. Yeah, if April the giraffe can have a channel, and if the eagles can have a camera, then everybody can have a camera, guys. You know what I realized? We're stuck in traffic. We ain't going nowhere for a while. Oh, slap in the face. The wind is gorgeous. Bam Bam, did you see my live stream when I went through the wind in the encore? It is absolutely the prettiest, one of the prettiest buildings. And props to Steve Wynn for when he built it, having degenerative eye disease, doing all that with bad eyes. Like, oh my gosh, what a visionary. It's feng shui, my wife says. Planet Hollywood's here at Caesars. There we go. This weekend's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy every Louis. Yeah, Louis is right. If you come in here for Labor Day, expect crowds. I expect a lot of crowds. Okay, so over here, we have fire trucks. We're burning down the house in Vegas. That's so not funny. Um, we have a giant, huge zip line. And then we have there's the flamingo. Oh, there's a bunch of tourists this way, guys. Hell's Kitchen headquarters oh, are in Hell's Kitchen. Oh my God, That's no tourists. The Hells Angels headquarters are at Hell's Kitchen. Wow, honey, I should get out and work timeshare. That's where they are. That's where everybody's been hiding. So people come out at night in Vegas because it's too hot. Are you and the wifey just driving around for the fun of it? No, bam, bam, I'm doing this for you guys. We were gonna go straight home, and then I was like, I need to do a video. I haven't done a video for two days, and I'm disappointing my audience. So I asked her, take your time. There's Hell's Kitchen. I said, take your time at the dollar store and then we we're gonna just drive down the plaza and then now we're here. So I drove down the strip for you guys today. That's the only reason I'm doing this. No, because look, that's iconic. So this is some of the last neon in Vegas and I iconic. miss neon signs. Like, why? Why are there no neon anymore? Well, because you can't sell things on a neon sign. Uh, they're filming Hell's Kitchen, I think they, they will be. Yes, it did. That's a billboard truck. Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah, they're new. Because they used to be really cruddy, right? Now they have the more high-def screens. Like, oh my god, this is a... Yeah, mobile Only advertising. In Vegas. Only in Vegas. Only in Vegas. Where is the draft taking place? So apparently Omar... Oh, Ditch says walked up part of the strip, got some le sore legs. Yep. Apparently they want to do part of the draft on top of the Bellagio fountain right here. That would be kind of cool as a gimmick. They could make a platform on top of the water. But uh, I don't know yet. And they're gonna supposedly pick the Raiders uh, pick, draft pick, hopefully it won't be a high draft pick because that would mean they suck this year. Uh, they're gonna pick the Raiders draft pick from the stadium, the Legion Stadium that's under construction. Look, it's marijuana. Yeah, there's marijuana everywhere. Not a big fan of that smell, it gives me a headache. They're gonna repave the whole strip. That'll be a quagmire. It's already a quagmire. You'll see some of that coming up. They're doing it in little segments. I should leave my window down if them, as you guys can hear me. So this is the Cosmopolitan. Yeah. It takes forever to walk any place there. Objects are much larger and further away. Yes, the strip is only five blocks long, but one block is like five, like a mile long. So it's five miles long. So we're gonna go up Tropicana. That's where all the working girls are, by the way. 
And this right here is the uh, city center with the crystal shopping, which I did a live stream through. If you guys just browsing through, throw me a like and hit subscribe. I do these kinds of things all the time. I don't know if I'm as good as my competition because there are some awesome live streamers in Vegas and I only started doing it a month ago. But I try my best to entertain you. Oh, geez, Louise. That's the Palomino, fully nude dancers. <laughs> so Jay, par partially my wife says show you the D&G and the Gucci's. And that's the Waldorf Astoria. And that's the Fear Towers. And it looks like it's slanted because it kind of is. No longer the, the, what was that before? It was the Mandarin Oriental. The Mandarin Oriental. And they just changed the name. The hotel doesn't change except for the colors inside. How many casinos are there on the Strip? A lot. And I don't know exactly how many, but I should probably find that information for you, Jonathan. Uh, they're not building walkways above all the traffic. Uh, like, like not, not this way, but they're building them this way. We'll see where they're building one right now in a few minutes. Okay. Is there any truth to hotels being extra for draft day? Oh, yeah, Alfonso. They'll be extra any special event. Mayweather fights, extra. Pacquiao fights, extra. <laughs> Super Bowl weekend, extra. Friday night, extra. Saturday night, extra, because they can charge it. What did Bam Bam say? That's funny. It takes forever to walk. Yeah, they are further away. It's like SEMA convention, extra. Uh, magic show, extra. You name it. It's extra. Here you go. Road work ahead. You shouldn't have driven, you dummy. Take the monorail next time. I don't know. RTC is losing money. That's the bus out here because people are taking Ubers and Lyfts so much. Wouldn't surprise me if Uber and Lyft got some kind of ridiculous fee attached to them to pay for the money they're losing from the transit. Okay, so we're going to have to get over into our right lane here. Lest we... So the Filipino right or... Going. That's the American right. My wife has to translate languages in her head, so sometimes you talk to Filipinos, I'm sure it's with other cultures too, and you say go right and then they go left, and you're like, no, American right. Other than the new Chinese themed resort, any rumors of other mega hotels? No, they're not making money off hotels like they used to, so they're gonna just probably keep building retail developments. The newest one is gonna be over here across the street where the Fat Burger is. All this stuff back here will be uh, gone soon enough with a new mega retail development. However, I might have lied to you. There's plans that they could be, they, they just sold a big plot of land uh, right on the other side of the Tropicana that could be a big hotel. It's uh, up to 50 stories tall. Uh, thank you for sitting in traffic for us. You're welcome, Omar. Um, J. Mig says, LOL, Kaliwa, or kan kanan. kanan. What's that mean? Not Kanin. Not Kanin, that's rice. And big ass is dry rice. It's not been kanan cooked. Not oh, okay. Kaliwa or Kanan. Ha. Kanan is. The Stephen Hotel and Resort. Yeah, we'll just name it after me. The Not Leaving Las Vegas Hotel and Resort. That's a great name, actually. Yeah, 24 hours CVS. There's actually a health clinic in here if you really get sick. Yeah, there's a minute clinic. Uh, gotta get up at 5 a.m., go to bed, go to work. See you at the meet up in Vegas. Sounds good. Bye. On Trop or Las Vegas Boulevard. It's on the boulevard right on the other side of Trop. I hope the hotels learn their lesson from the long run with ridiculous resort fees. Uh, they might, but they're not learning anytime soon. JT asks if I drink. I used to drink alcohol. I'm what you call an angry drinker, and I don't drink anymore. Uh, Alfonso says thanks for the live feed. You're welcome, Alfonso. Now, I don't understand the logic behind calling your place the crack shaft. Or the crack shack. <laughs> crack shaft sounds ten times worse. So, I guess if you want to buy some crack, you either go to... Oh, there's a big chicken. There's a big chicken. You guys want to buy... Yes. Oh, here's the walkway I was telling you guys above. It's really loud. I'm going to do this. So somebody asked if they're building walkways. Here's a walkway. It's taken a month to build it. What takes so long? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Somebody else's money, mainly taxpayers. Crankshaft. Yeah, it's a crankshaft. That's at Rick's Restorations. I hear there are currently a few states suing over the resort fee thing. Um, yeah, but they'll never do it here. Big money runs this state. Hopefully get some traction. We'll see what happens, bam bam. Maybe I should do a video on that. What do you think? Thumbs up if I should do a video. Supposedly there was an earthquake near Ridgecrest today. No earthquakes that we heard of, and trust me, people in this town have nothing better to do. We would have heard about it. Everybody's, did you feel the earthquake? Yeah, man, my my house fell down. Oh, Lucas says, salamat po. Uh, wala, 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 wala
I said at the same time as you, give me my Filipino credit. <laughs> so get a pass today. I'll get a kiss later on tonight. Oh, uh, man. So we're in traffic. Sitting in traffic. Nobody's chatting. Yeah, we're going to go up Tropicana. I'll film until we get close to our neighborhood. Then I'll kill the stream. So. In and out. Do you want to go to In and Out? Yes. Who says? Who thinks we should go to In and Out on camera? If you're watching, oh, you better no, speak no. out. Oh, CJ Meg says, "Walang inu man or walang inu 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 man inu inu man inu mean." Hopefully, El Dorado will not charge fees or lower them. Robert says we should go to In and Out Burger. El Dorado. That's uh, El Dorado Resorts bought Caesar's Palace. Uh, Caesar's Palace. They bought Caesar's Entertainment. Where is it? Where's El Dorado? It's a resort company. They own resorts all across the country. Okay. Okay, here. El Dorado is a giant company that owns resorts across the United States. They bought Caesars Entertainment, as you might know, and they're being forced to sell one property to make the deal go through. Uh, in and out Yes, we're going to in and out with a big neon sign. I never knew they did a Neapolitan shake. Did you know they do a Neapolitan shake in and out mm -mm. We should order one. What is that? It's Neapolitan's chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. You know that. No, I did not know that. Come on, they buy that all the me. time. No, I didn't know they did the shake, but I know what the ice cream is. When could you do a win comp room review? When I get some room comps, but I don't gamble? <laughs> I don't gamble. How do I get a comp at the win? I'd have to be the biggest YouTube channel in the world for that to happen. Tropicana and Maryland Parkway. Trust me, if I did this full time, you think I wouldn't invest $100 a night at a room and do a room view of every dang hotel in Vegas? You know I would, people, but I don't do this full time. You gotta show them the Lady Liberty. Yeah, Statue of Liberty. Play the Win app, free room comps. Yeah, I could try the room app. You don't have to gamble. I play Vegas slots sometimes. Is that the same as the Win app? Does that link into it, guys? Because the only rewards I see for that are like 20% off a room. Apparently, the rewards aren't very good now like they used to be. Let's show Here's the Lady Liberty. She'll be wearing a Vegas Golden Knights jersey soon enough. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Film with that. the FLM Chocolate Factory in Henderson. That's a good idea. FLM, the best chocolate ever. Oh, my God. No way. Yep. Set the app on autoplay and the games you'll win enough emeralds. Okay, Bam Bam, we're going to try it. My wife wants to ask your wife and your opinion on the all you can eat 24 hour Cor I know you meant Korean not Koran barbecue uh, specifically the ones behind Taco Sale Gordo on Las Vegas Boulevard I haven't been to that place um, Korean barbecue the last one we went to was off of uh, Spring Mountain Road and it was the, the one where they really cook it in good. front of you they're really good though so Korean barbecue you can't go wrong I have mothers I Bam Bam has enough for three nights you want to hook a brother up, Bam Bam? I'll do that review. You know I will. But I'm not pandering. I'm just saying. I'll be there for four nights. Oh, see, so you can't hook a brother up. You have to use your room comps. I love you, though. Thanks for coming. Hopefully you meet up with me while you're here. Always got a few spare minutes to meet up with a subscriber. Here's T-Mobile Arena, home of the Vegas Golden Knights, and a bunch of other sporting events and boxing. Yeah, I'm open for meeting anybody. I'll meet anybody anytime public place with uh you know lots of cameras because i don't know who you, are. you don't know who i am i could be a crazy person you don't know you don't know you don't know me uh-uh i could be nuts i could just be on my medication right now you don't know this i heard the wind buffet is pretty oh, and the bacchanal is good too if you're gonna spend 55 dollars on a sit down or 55 dollars on a buffet go Nothing for the more. buffet my gosh where's a good place for ice cream uh, uh, that one, that one that they do, the, that the old one, that Creamstone, Creamer. Well, I mean, there's Creamstone, yeah, that's a chain. Um, um, there's a, oh, there's a gelato place near the Stratosphere. Mindy Kaling got into trouble years ago because she criticized the neighborhood really hard. And everybody's like, you knew what you were getting into, Mindy. If you don't know who that is, that she was on The Office and she was on a show about Mindy. You know, I don't name my channel Stevens Vegas. And Mindy was like, the world according to Mindy. It's like, give me a break. <laughs> Come on. You're, you're selling the show or you're selling you. I went to the 99 cent store on Saturday and ended up spending $250. <laughs> Jeez. Isn't that the way it always is? <laughs> Listen, I, one day I'll tell you the story about how we bought a $500 goldfish. It's ridiculous. But, Honey, we want this goldfish for 25 cents at the... Chinese New Year and then it's like this much for a tank and then you have to buy other fish because we all think fish care about companionship when they probably don't 
and then we ended up going out one day and we came back and we're out the city and ate one of the fish so we just said you know what we're getting turtles and then we needed to get he still think the turtles are there because they all look the because same they're only they only allow reader Red Ooh. Yeah, no. yeah, they're only all red-eared sliders there. Sliders, yeah. When you're talking about Caesars the other day, I reminded of the 12th. Yeah, it's not a racket. Caesars is a tourist trap. I did a video on that. Yeah. So are we going to drive through, right? Uh, sure. Right, oh, oh, wait. Drive through or eat in? <laughs> Answer quickly, channel. Drive through or eat in? Huh? Nobody's watching. See, I knew it. They just put me on auto. They don't. They don't. Oh, there's a delay, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, let's eat inside, I guess. Oh, so he says he didn't. Like We're going like in. Eden. That's a social thing. Yes, yeah. I'm a, but I'm anti-social. That's why I did this. My psychiatrist told me to run a YouTube channel <laughs> to make me more social. I'm just kidding. I don't have a psychiatrist. I can't afford that. Healthcare is ridiculous. drive through. Yeah, I got I got two Edens, two drive throughs one drive through one eat in the car. I don't know. It's pretty split. drive through drive through eat in, eat. Oh, I got three drive throughs four drive throughs No. <sighs> no, because the Eden is fresh all the time. Oh, she makes it. But we could park there and eat in the car. True. No, let's oh. bring them inside the experience. We're going to go inside, and I don't care what you have to say. Because it's my channel, and you're along for the ride. But anyways, let's go spend some money at In-N-Out Burger. Because it's, uh, it's actually very affordable. When you consider they can pay their burger people like 15 an hour to start, 25 an hour after a few years. The manager at In-N-Out Burger makes 85 grand a year. Hey, blurry camera. I tuned in just in time. All right, so apparently, you have the keys? Not the cheese, the keys. All right, so apparently, you know what the worst thing about this is? Is that I have to use the bathroom. So you're going to have to just hold the camera. You don't have to talk and you can just show the thing while I'm using the bathroom. Because even though I love my YouTube subscribers, I'm not going to, I'm not using the bathroom. Just, just, just hold it and like this. No one will know. Yeah, I'm not going to stop the live stream. Everybody wants to see us eat junk food. Everybody wants us to die of a heart attack. It's such a nice channel. All right, we're gonna order some In-N-Out Burger here. What you mean the viewer's not always right? I love you, Scott Lee, whatever your name is. She's gonna wait in line. We're gonna have a little gap because I don't think she wants to yammer on ridiculous amounts of commentary, my beautiful wife. Just hold the camera. They're gonna, they're gonna keep talking to you and try to get you to talk. You don't have to say uh, nothing. I'll be right I mean, back. sure. Yeah, just show stuff. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't tap the screen. It'll make everything die. <laughs> You're not allowed in the bathroom. You're not? Oh. Okay, so here we are. It's a very busy night. Lots of cars, but lots of empty tables. Crazy. Double double. <laughs> okay, somebody calls me Mrs. Steven. <laughs> That's Mrs. Steven. You could call her her name, it's Caroline. Caroline, that's her name. All right, so here's an announcer in Las Vegas. Hello, Mrs. Steven. Double double animal style. I don't like animal style myself, but it's good for some people. That's where they put a bunch of mushy stuff on it. Go in for those who don't live in the West Coast and have never been. Yeah, in and out's from California. Um, yeah, we got t-shirts on the wall. I'll get to those in a minute. So actually, this in and out burger has so much traffic that if you go over here, my Canadianism coming out over here. I have security here, which is good. So if you go and look over on this side right here, I gotta get back in line in a minute. You can see that there's actually a, a gift shop. It's closed right now, 
That building right there is a gift shop just for this In-N-Out Burger. Grilled onions and pickles. Yeah, I tried it animal style. I thought I was buying a low-carb burger. I wasn't. I was like, oh, what is this? I ate it anyways. Yeah, so again, what time is it right now? It's 9.30 at night on a, on a, what days of the week is it? I don't even know. Uh, 9.30 at night on a Thursday. This place is slammed. So in and out started in California a long time ago. They only have stores in, I think, California, Arizona, maybe Oregon, because they refuse to freeze their meat. They're a family-run business to this date. Um, they have some, some little nuances that I find interesting, like they put religious stuff on their cups where you can't see them. It's a really wholesome family place. They just do their own thing and they don't listen to anybody else. They're not corporate control. In and out Temecula is always packed, Alfonso says. Grilled onions and a thousand island dressing. Oh, they have one in Texas now. Well, that makes sense. Lots of beef in Texas. So you go over here, you can buy all these souvenirs from In-N-Out Burger. They use real ice cream in their shakes. Yeah, next door, open till six every day. And it gets an A rating from the health district. Isn't that cool? $13 for a t-shirt. Over a cheer in Canadian. Over a cheer. I don't know about that. Ask about the hop. No, I'm not doing that. I don't want to be kicked out of the In and Out Burger. Do you like President Verte JC, JT yes, wants I to know? Do. Yes, she does. It's Duterte, not Ducarte, but yours probably just a typo. What about an old fat? What's an old fast burger? I never heard about that one, Jonathan. This is how simple their menu is. You have this many options. Four food options, sodas, and shakes, and three combos. Old fashioned burger, I don't know what that is. Oh, Salt Lake City has them now. Salt Lake City has a really good burger joint I can't recall the name of though, too. I, I don't know that place. What are you getting, your regular? Double double baby. Yeah, I guess I'll probably get one of those uh, low carb style, maybe. No, you know what, screw it, I wanna eat fries. YOLO, baby. What's the old-fashioned, Jonathan? Maybe I should order one of those for Jonathan. I'm going to order it Jonathan Hughes style and see what they say, okay? I'm going to get uh, uh, um, a Jonathan Hughes style burger and see what they say. He's going to look at me like, what? How's it going, man? I'm not going to show your face. I'm doing a live stream. Um, I'm going to make a joke and say Jonathan Hughes style. What's an old-fashioned? Um, we don't have anything old-fashioned. You don't? Just one, one, one combo, number one. Would you like onion on that? Onion? Yes. Yes. Please. And I'll do double double myself. Would you like onion on yours? Yes. And fries slightly well done. And do you want a Neapolitan chocolate vanilla spatter? Yes. Neapolitan shake instead of a soda? And that's it. This will be two double doubles onion, a fry light well, and a Neapolitan shake. Yep. Okay. Will you be eating here? Yes. The total is 1348. 1348. What's that? Chef. 13.48, guys. You want to get outside or inside? Outside, I guess. I got the Neapolitan shake. Thank you. Kind of a nice egg. Yeah. Flying That sounds awesome. That's probably it. Oh, this is the best part. Look. Unlike Papa John's that gives you one of them, these guys will let you have as many pepperoncinis as you can possibly shove uh, down your throat. What are these? Banana. Oh, bananas, are they hotter? Do it. Yeah, I mean, when you consider how close we are to the Strip, and they just opened a bunch of new business class hotels over here, it's a really good deal if you can. I probably would have had more live streamers if I said I was doing all this stuff in the title, but I didn't. So hopefully somebody pays attention to this. In and out mukbang. Ha! Yeah, that would be pretty funny. Honey, we should do an In-N-Out mukbang, they said. You know what mukbang, remember the people eat a million things, remember that? Honey, you showed me that. Where they sit down with all the food and just eat endlessly on camera. Yeah, you were- Mukbang! Mukbang! It's Korean, I can't say it. Yeah, we're getting burgers. We're just waiting with our, um... We're just waiting with our- I'm gonna put you on camera for a minute. Just for a second. 
See, she really is here with me. I don't have a voice soundboard that I'm pressing. Yeah, he's really married. <laughs> I'm really married. Super married. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the phone. Okay, bye-bye. All right. Not everybody likes to be on camera like me. I'm the stupid one. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know there was one near the strip. I'm going there next month. There's one on the strip, Pine Tree. You can go right on the strip. Uh, it's right at the link. I don't know if it's the same menu. 1348 for two meals. Are you kidding? That's $30 in Calgary. Well, here's the thing, uh, Ditch. If I went to um, like, like Five Guys, Shake Shack, I'd pay $30. Oh, she is pretty, but... No, I'm 34. Guest number 34. Here's what I got for, for big number 34. I got two double doubles with onions, one fry light well, one red Neapolitan shake. Thank you. My wife doesn't make six sig. I don't know if I want to eat six sig. It's, uh, you know, it's interesting. I like pigs and I don't want to eat the face. Filipinos are good people, absolutely. She makes really great Filipino food. Mm, six sig is the face, usually. Pork belly is, um, gosh, I'll ask her in a minute. Have you tried the White Castle? Castle. White Castle, I failed. No, I've not tried White Castle. Uh, I want to try it. I tried Chick fil A. I don't by Chick fil A. I thought it was okay, but it wasn't great. You know, it's it's one thing I heard it's better on the East Coast. So maybe White Castle is good out here. I have no idea. Does my wife have a single friend? She has family members in the Philippines who are single. I'm not joking. She really does. They're really nice people. And, uh, pretty girl. I'm only gonna say that. She's a nice lady. She's a smart lady, too. She's, uh, actually college educated, but it's hard to find a job even in a country with college education. My messed up classes. White Castle is not very good. Yeah, I think it got popular for obvious reasons because of that movie and stuff. The one thing I wish they had here was onion rings. They don't have onion rings. I think it would be awesome if they did. No, my wife is from the Philippines. Get 27, you're These guys have some pipes on them. Yeah, my wife's from the Philippines, but she's lived here for a long time. Costa Rica's in the house with Juan Diego Salazar. My uncle loves Costa Rica. I've never been. Uh, he has a friend who does diving, and he also loves Costa Rica. Philippines rocks. The hot blonde thing. I just checked that out. Rusty with a sense of humor in the house. I came to Vegas in 2004, Mr. Super Dope. Please be here 10 years. And I said, I've been here since 2004. And then they were really cool. They were like, oh, my correction, my bad. I would like to visit Costa Rica. 29. Getting closer to the vault in 34. This was the longest live stream I think I've ever done. So we got here. So there's a lot of international tourists that come here to this place because everybody tells them about how good it is. Never froze, they never freeze their beef. They do anything on a custom menu. And they have a massive specialty custom menu. And I'm going to do a live food review of an out burger because why not? 41 viewers, give me some thumbs up, peoples. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do Vegas videos all the time. I will introduce myself. My name is Steve. I'm from Las Vegas. I've been local in Vegas for 15 years or so. And I like doing videos for you and showing you real things. We're doing a 24 hour live stream. You'll be halfway done. I do 1 24th stuff. How's Shake Shack? Never eaten there. I will someday. Yeah, they do pay really well, Scotty. Oh, I'm going to do a marathon live stream. It's going to involve me walking from Vegas line all the way to downtown Fremont Street. It'll probably take me several hours. Yeah. Jay Mibbs wants a fight. It's not for everybody. You have to really like burgers to like in and out burger. I happen to really like burgers. Goodbye, Alfonso. Thanks for the hat. I'm only not wearing it because I had to go to a business meeting. But I'll be doing a Raiders video. And I'm going to do a video, Alfonso, going to... Um, I'm going to do a video where I go to the strip and ask people what they think about the Raiders. Because somebody who's, somebody who's watching right now said I should go and do Man on the Street stuff, which I'm nervous to do. Really, I'm going to go do a Man on the Street. That was one of my subscribers that supports me pretty well said, talk to people. Okay, I'll try. 
All right, some more of the In-N-Out burger here. I mean, it's really a basic setup. Quality you can taste. Don't get me wrong, it's good if you like, exactly, Jay Miggs. It's like, if you don't like sub sandwiches, you're gonna say that that sub place everyone likes. Yeah, Russ, it is a long walk, but I used to walk a lot further than that. I used to walk everywhere. I didn't even have a driver's license until I moved to this country. Now this is some Vegas. Not sure if serious, Steph. Man on the Street style videos on this trip would be great. So, somebody who's watching this video also suggested I say, my catchphrase become, don't punch me, bro. Because if I go up to people and I offend them, I'll have to be like, You're 33, you're 33. Don't punch me, bro. So yeah, that could be my catchphrase. It's pretty funny. I'd be like uh, that guy, uh, Tay Talks, or what? Not Tay Talks, can't remember his name. Uh, that guy's hilarious. But the problem is filming it. Can you make it across the streets without going up and over? Some of them, Rusty, you totally can, especially by the Vegas sign and especially by downtown. It's only between Tropicana and Tropicana and Spring Mountain Road. And then the, the, they all stop. Oh, punch me, bro shirt. That would be cool. Maybe I could have some merch. Hey, you guys want to buy some merch? No. Get a Judo Master. What Pinoy food spots do your wife like? You like D, D as in David Pinoy, P-I-N-O-Y? That's a good place. Uh, you have like Nana Gloria's and um, Nana, Nana Gloria's and uh, Captain Bob. They're not that great. They're just the, uh, Cal, uh, God, I can't remember the name. It's a Filipino term for takeout food. Oh, 34. I got a Neapolitan shake with that. He's gonna make it for me on demand. Oh, thank you. 35 Oh, that's some good looking stuff, isn't it, guys? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Steph. Chow King. Yeah, there's a Chow King here. I like Chow King. I like their Halo Halo. It's much better than Jollibee. Yeah, that wasn't my animal fries. I'm not brave enough. I got the extra crispy fries. Oh, you're the man. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. 38 or 33? 38. And here we go. Food is hovering through the air. I have had Max's on a few occasions. I would like to go to the original Max's chicken. Oh, this guy is cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'd like to go to the original Max's chicken. That would be fun. In Manila, in the Philippines. But, you know, there's that. Whole thing about flying thousands of dollars of round trip air tickets. Oh, this food looks even better in the dark. Uh-oh. Okay. So, closest thing to is animal style fries. No poutine? No poutine. What are we doing? You should watch my live stream. You can watch my live stream on the Christian's online. Oh, my godson's watching. Oh! My godson's watching. I gotta do this. Filipino style. All right, so let's see what we got here. Uh, no one can see me because no one can see me. All right, I'm going to eat on camera so you can all just enjoy that, I guess. What city is nice to visit in the Philippines? Davao City is nice to visit in the Philippines. It's uh, voted by Condé Nast Travelers to be the best place in the Philippines for um, white folks to go. It's the safest city out there. Are we going to eat, love? Yes, okay. She's texting our godson in the Philippines. Um, what other cities are nice in the They're Philippines? They're having their intramurals party. Oh, what's that? Intramurals. Uh, I know what that means. Through those words. <laughs> They're having a party. <laughs> for oh, okay. Something. Cool. They need. What is they the oldest need. and nicest city to visit? Can you help us out with some Philippine stuff? The what? What is the oldest and nicest places to visit in the Philippines? Cebu is nice. Cebu, Zamboanga, obviously. Zamboanga? And Bacolod. Zamboanga is like a little Latin and Bacolod version. City. Bacolod City. Bacolod. Bacolod City. What about like Dumaguete City? Old, like, old churches. Old churches, everything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Steph says got married in Vegas. The hubby went to high school in Baguio City. Oh, Ooh, oh. the winter capital of the Philippines where That's Manny Pacquiao was the Philippine military. There's oh, Philippine military? Great school. Great school. Oh, cool. Mm. How hot is it? It's about 90 degrees, but it's not sunny, so you can't feel it. And it's a dry heat. And it's a dry heat. Which is so try this. It's so good. 
That's good. That's the shake from now on in. Where's okay. my love? Which Yours, one? Yeah, either the same. Oh, they are? Okay. Yeah, I didn't order it without the sauce. Not a big fan of the sauce. All right. Vegan City in Iloco, somebody yep. says. Vegan is nice. Vegan, yes. Vegan. Oh, that's why. Okay. Here's a trick. If you go to a Philippine market and they say, <laughs> there's a guy talking to himself next to me and I'm completely thrown off. So I'm going to try to just keep up my rap. But he's talking to another person who isn't there. So shh. shh. Anyways, uh, when you go to the Philippine market, you say, do you guys have vegan food? And they give you a sausage, and it says vegan, V-I-G-A-N, vegan food. It's not vegan. This is a big burger, so we usually order these takeout. They make the best longanisa, which is a type of Filipino sausage that they dye bright red for God knows what reason. Why do they dye the sausage red? Not always, but why? Is it like an American thing? Or... Hmm. I'm not licking the cheese paper. You can't make me, Christopher. Oh, he said vegan sausage. There's a delay. So when they type, there's always like a 30 second delay. You don't want to be talking like this guy, Rusty. Can you start a change I don't know. I really I'm don't. Sorry. I don't have any cash on me at all. I pay with everything with cards, so I feel bad. Mm. Mukbang live stream. Yeah, I got my fries, and I'm probably going to end up having some of her leftovers because my wife can't ever finish. This is a double-double. Two beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed fun. Wow, that's a different fast food restaurant. What island is my wife from? She's from the island of Mindanao. It's a region. It's an island. That's She's from the region called Mindanao and also the island of Mindanao. It's region 13 in the Philippines. And it's a second class city. Manila's the only first. Well, the yeah, that's where the president of the country's from, Duterte. You can just say them louder, they can hear you. <laughs> what do you like? Christopher wants to know if you like the Neapolitan shake. What do you mm -hmm. think? Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Is that Right. Uh, Rodrigo Duterte is from Mindanao. He uh, was the mayor of Davao City for um, until his term limit went up. And then uh, now, he's now, he's the, now his daughter, uh, Sarah Duterte, and then I think she's having kids right now so they can just keep the whole thing going. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm eating. Yeah. Is this actually entertaining to anybody, guys? I don't want to know. I do have the fries, too. What's everybody eating? What are you guys eating? This is so rude. People actually watch these videos. I watch this guy buy a bunch of Jollibee stuff and just eat it. No. Yeah. Well, you got ketchup right here. Look at that. See, when you're married, you get ketchup on the lip and you just do this. I know, right? Do you watch Becoming Filipino? Yes, of course I do. Kulas. Kulas, or Kyle for short. And we also watch Finn Snow, James. He's really good. Finn Snow's from Iceland. And he's got a girlfriend who's like a fashion model and trying to break into the entertainment business. Looks better than Domino's Pizza. We got Domino's a few weeks back. And uh, the only thing that was really great about it was the, the, hungry, the Hungry Syrian. The Hungry Syrian. That guy's good, too. Mm. You guys could actually hear that? I guess I'm definitely losing the monetization on this one now, then. If you could hear all that. This live stream is great. It's like I'm right there with you, entertaining. Thanks, Mitch. Answer. You're making me hungry, and I have nothing now. to eat in the house. Ha ha. You gotta have something, Martin. Get some uh, Uber Eats. You probably want the fire right there, right? Cameras are not side right there. You should gotta be careful. Right? I know. I'm not rip. Uh oh. Can't read the comments though. I know, right? Uh -huh. What do you got? got banana peppers. Mm -hmm. We haven't eaten any of the fries yet. 
No one can see because of the fingers. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. Well, we're all learning to live stream together at some point, don't we? <laughs> God bless you, honey. I had to get a snack and join in. Kumasta, Miss NLLV. So you're Miss Not Live in Las Vegas. They call me Not Live in Las Vegas. You got her for a moment there. Yeah, I know. Don't tell her that. She'll be embarrassed. <laughs> I'll get more food to eat. Apparently, now it's really blurry. Okay, let's play. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Stop it. You literally had no fries. They're sitting right here. What I'm am I going to do? National just of the Philippines is Lumpia, right? Watch your mouth. I imagine so. I feel like you're angry. Yeah, Rusty. Rack, man on the street, people like that kind of stuff. I think that's what you're talking about, Rusty. The view got better for a moment. You you incidentally aimed at the camera right here for a minute. Oh, yeah, you, you didn't know you were doing it. <laughs> I'll burn you up. Oh, this is terrible. I'm the sloppiest, grossest eater in the world. My wife is hot. You're hot. <laughs> Armin says you're hot. Yeah. Armin, are you are, are you my Armenian friend? What am I supposed to say? Barev? Is that right, Armin? Barev, if you're Armin, and that's Armenian for hello. Mm. I think. That's where they all stay. Where mm -hmm. the truckers stay, right there. Yeah, we stay there one day. The wild, wild west. We're well, the wild, wild west one day. We just needed a room for a night because we were moving into a place, but it wasn't. And I go up to the front desk. I know you're over at one of mine. Sit down before you understand. Uh, no, I'm not. Rusty, you want to come out here? We can get into some fun. Uh, anyway. We go in there one day, and I see online it's advertised as like 30 bucks. And I say, I say, can I get a room for $30? And she says, it's $80. I say, but this says it's $30. And she goes, go over there, book the room, come back to me. I can't give it to you for that price. I know Filipino martial arts. That's some badass stuff. Have you ever seen like the um, the Born Identity and the Born and a lot of like John Wick is a lot of corporate and all that stuff. Christopher's right, and I'm a food eater. Martin's coming on Monday. Where are you gonna eat at, Martin? How many you have? Forty. Right now it's forty, but. It fluctuates. <clears throat> people drop in, drop out. I'm supposed to be talking to people to subscribe. If, if I was like most streamers, I'd be begging people for money to cover the food, but I'm not doing that stuff. Into live streaming. Well, walking through, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, I'm just going to eat all of these. <laughs> all of them. Give me that napkin. I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway. Oh, so Barev, did I get it right? Barev, I remembered something. Armenian. I don't remember anything. You know who else is Armenian? The Kardashian. Oh, the Kardashian. You might offend him by saying that, you never know. Some people don't like them. Some people do too. Some people do too. You know who else is Armenian? People that live in Armenia. Come on, I'm getting love for a bad joke. Armin, are you in Armenia right now watching me? Because that would make you the most distant viewer I've ever had in a million more years. This really just died on me. I, I don't know what I was saying. Go and eat a bunch of lousy food in front of people. But apparently they liked it. It's not lousy food, you know what I mean. It's, it's fast it's food. good. Oh, it tastes great. Are you kidding me? I could order three of these order of fries. I just spit. I don't know. Man, I failed. Just went right there. I'm sorry. Are you having any more? No, I did not. My favorite Kardashian is Courtney. Yeah, she is. What's yours? Favorite Kardashian. Uh, I like Billy Kardashian, but nobody ever sees him on the show. I do like him though. 
I can't believe I actually like him. Rusty Sanchez. <laughs> Not sure if he's sarcastic because I'm your sense of humor, but I love it. Ah, what am I doing when there's a half a burger here? Because my wife always, we always, always usually order one burger. I am not trying to eat a bunch of garbage. I ate McDonald's earlier on this week. And then you throw up later. Well, yeah, maybe sick. Don't eat McDonald's. Eat in and out Burger. If you have to fly here and stay here, just do it anyways. It might cost you thousands of dollars, but it's better than McDonald's. Yep. At one point, he was standing up, literally talking right to me. I peed a little. Oh. I was scared. Yeah. Wow. I don't think I can finish the fries, but if it's mukbang, I'm supposed to finish the fries. I'm watching on the YouTube app on Fire Stick. Giant burgers, everybody. Am I supposed to finish everything? Guys, I have a lot of fries left. Look at this. And if we bring these home, we'll give them to the birds. Okay. She's finished right. I'll finish them. It's fine. And we should go home with cats. Yeah, we have cats. You gonna drive home so I can finish up? Yes. Okay. Raising Cane's is good. They're the official food partner of the Oakland Raiders. I've never had that. I've had it. I just, is it? It's good. Okay, I'm done. All right, let's go. All right. That's what you guys were hearing and seeing behind me, by the way. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm going to do the very Canadian thing of actually throwing my stuff out because I don't think it's an American thing. A lot of people I find when I move here, they just don't throw their trash out. And I just think that's tragic. I never had Rotten Ronnie's. Hey, have you viewed any of Derek's stuff in Oikin Vegas? Yeah, I mean, I like his channel. I'd like to meet that guy someday. But nobody pays attention to me when I say I'd like to meet the or maybe they just don't know who I am or they don't get my messages and it's all good in the hood. All right, so we're gonna finish up the drive home. Oh, you wanna go up top or you wanna go down to this? No, 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 going home, please. Oh, there's actually cold water in here. So we freeze our water because it's so hot. You can freeze your water bottle, stick it in your car and it looks like that. And then you have cold water the whole time. Also a super good tip. Like, if y'all are ever going to take a trip across the state, bring lots of frozen bottles of water and stuff. Like, if you broke down and you had to wait an hour for somebody, you're dead. You're dead. Seriously, you're going to die. No, I'm just going to... Yeah, that guy was pretty intense, i got to be honest with you. That wasn't a nice, pleasant experience because what you guys heard as... My wife will tell you right now. What you guys heard as... Um, you know what? I did that food review. It didn't do well, but people really like that eating. That's good. Maybe I can tell just... About the, the, tell them about the history of mukbang. You I don't know. That, know. Right? No, I don't. Oh, yeah. About, like... Mukbang is because people in South Korea are very isolated, lonely. and they're lonely, and they like to eat with somebody else, but they don't... Um, how to start it. How many cats do I have? Three Ditch. Now. Spoiler alert. I have a third cat. I even filmed it. One of my YouTube subscribers gave me money, and I did two things with the money. I bought the, the GoPro yeah, upgrade. That. Uh, I bought the I bought the GoPro mic adapter and then we adopted this cat that we saw um, that was very lonely looking and we figured we have to, we have to adopt him and then we went back to the same adoption agency I don't know if that agency got trouble but we got our cat just a week later we wouldn't have been able to get that little guy we've been staring at him for weeks he was little Siamese and it was supposed to be a surprise, but surprise if you're loyal enough to still be watching after I smashed my food in my face. All right, I let's. I-15. What? This is the I-15. Yeah, it's the I-15. The only road to Las Vegas. The only road to California and Salt Lake from Vegas. Um, so that guy was literally, you thought he was yammering on? He wasn't. He was literally talking directly to me, calling me uh, pretty boy and all this, because I was talking to the camera and I guess he doesn't know what a live stream is. Cool, we have nine foster, you have nine foster kittens and three adults and one dog? What do you live on, like a ranch? You must live on a ranch. <laughs> I have a brilliant idea, turn around. Yeah, right. 
Yep. Okay, guys. So guess what? He has a ton of reviews. Most are informative. Just got to skip past the parts where he's eating. Yeah, some people don't like the eating, guys. I understand. Um, okay, so it's been an hour and 30 minutes. My longest ever. I know, window washer. Hey, guys. Guess what? I'm uh, going to go ahead and turn off the camera. I'm Steven, and this is Miss Le Not Leaving Las Vegas. See you goodbye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for the tip about the um, milkshake. Thank you for the tip on the milkshake. And everybody. answer you, Rusty, this is Industrial Road. Everyone's parallel to this trip, and it's a good shortcut. Guys, got to go. And that's the real. The thank, thank you for that. We're going to get off this camera, or else we'll stay on here all day. I can marathon 24 hours, but it's boring because i got to sleep eventually. This is the Rio, as my wife said. And that's the Rio. That's Sad Rio, everybody. I'm going to go to Sad Rio and sneak a camera in before they jump me. Guys, three, two, oh, one minute and 30 minutes. You guys are one hour, 30 minutes. You're awesome. Thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Bye-bye.